everybody, this is Eric Worry, and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. So sorry to have missed you last Thursday and Friday. I had a head cold, and I was uh, shaking that loose from my brain to be able to have a fresh start this week, and I've got some great information for you, so let's get started. Um, I want you to treat your business and think of your business as if it's a publicly traded company. If it's a publicly traded company, your distributorship, as if it's a publicly traded company. And what do publicly traded companies, what are they required to do for their shareholders? They're required to report their numbers on a regular basis. What are their numbers? How are they doing based upon how they were doing a year ago or last quarter or whatever? So when you think about this, you kind of hold yourself accountable and you really track your business. And awareness is the key to change. You need to be able to increase your awareness on the core fundamental things that are happening in your business. So what are some of the things that you need to be tracking? I'll just give you some ideas. Every company is a little bit different as far as the things you need to be tracking, as far as the measurables. Paul, the late Paul J. Meyer taught me that you could basically run a business on the information that you could put on one piece of paper and update that information on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, you can know everything about the health of a business on one piece of paper if you ask the right questions. So here's some questions for you to think about. What were your sales for last month? Maybe go back the last 90 days. What were the sales each month for the last 90 days? How many people were recruited into your business for the last 90 days, month by month? For the last 90 days, how many people, new people came in for the fourth quarter of 2010? How many new people joined your business in the last 90 days and each month? How many in October? How many in November? How many in December? Why is that important? So you can see the trends. So you can see what needs to be worked on. So how many new people joined? Another important underlying number that you need to be tracking is how many people are using your product or service each month. How many were using it in October? How many were using it in November? How many were using it in December? I'm talking about distributors and customers. Add all of that together and how many people are using your product because you'll be able to determine is the trend moving up or is the trend moving down or is the trend flat. If the trend is flat and you're bringing in new people, that means you're losing some people when you're bringing in other new people. It's going to really help you measure kind of the health of your organization and to, to determine the actions that you must take in order to be able to do it. If you're accountable to shareholders, they're going to be saying, hey, how many customers did you have in October? How many did you have in November? How many did you have in December? Are there more in December than November? More in November than October? That's what you, we should be having. And if not, you need to be... Uh, need to answer to the shareholders, right? So if you're thinking about, okay, sales, recruits, um, customers, product use, then you can start going into some of the activity-based things. How many people are attending the meetings? How many, is that trend growing? What's going on with that? Some of the underlying fundamentals. Here's what I'm saying to you here. If you're going to be a network marketing professional, you have to accept the numbers for what they are, today and then create a plan in order to improve them in the future. You can't just stick your head in the sand and say, you know, I don't know. I don't know what my sales were. I don't know how many customers I had. I don't know how many new people joined my business. That's what amateurs do. You're not going to be an amateur. You're going to be a professional. Professionals understand what their numbers are. Another important number, um, before I forget it, is rank advancements. Every organization has the next rank. How many people are rank advancing in your organization in October, November, and December? If you understand that trend, then you can create a game plan. That's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Some of the specific actions that you can take in order to be able to improve those numbers. But case number one, I want you to almost put together, if you, had a, uh, if you were a publicly traded company and you had to tell people what the numbers were for the last 90 days, and have a little presentation. You can put it on one piece of paper and then just present it to yourself, present it to your upline, present it to your sponsor, present it to your workout partner in the business and have them give you real-time feedback. Okay, we see what the real issue is here. 
uh, or at least we see what the trend is, now we need to create an action plan in order to be able to improve on that trend. And that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Okay? So that's it for today. And ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.